Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Roy with Wrath Motorsports. And really quick, I wanna show you guys why we don't generally recommend for you to do mods on 93 or 91 Octane. True story is, on your 6th Gen Camaro, th these cars are very knock limited from the factory, so they just simply don't make enough power. Let's take a look at the dyno graph, and then I'll show you before and after on 93, and then on E85 once we're done. All right, so here it is. We're getting ready to drain a 93. It's a 2016 Camaro SS. We just got it done on 93 octane. And as you can see, the red line is gonna be horsepower, stock, and on 93, blue line is gonna be torque. So if you look at the bottom, stock was 350 horsepower, 358 foot-pounds feet of torque. And then afterwards, just with the you know intake, we picked up 362 horsepower, 380. So realistically, we gained 12 horsepower at the wheels, which is, a fair amount, but for the money that it takes to tune these cars right, it's really not worth it. So 12 horsepower, 21 pound feet of torque, which is really decent. Now we're gonna put it on E85 and see an A to B. We are literally putting it on E85, making a few tweaks, making sure it's good, and that's it. All right, so as discussed previously, we were, this is a comparison from stock to E85. This car literally just has a cold air intake and flex fuel. That's it, and a tuned. So this is our stage one, very popular on the six gen Camaro. But check it out. So stock numbers came in at 350 horsepower, 358 foot-pounds of torque. After E85, we did 382 horsepower, 397 foot-pounds of torque. And you can see area under the curve, it's a phenomenal difference on both horsepower and torque. So with the trans tuning, it is gonna help it. This customer does have some large 22 inch wheels on here. She is going to be getting more into the drag racing scene. So she's got another set of wheels. She's gonna go down to 20s and then eventually get a drag pack and whatnot. So the dyno a little bit lower than some of the other cars. However, the comparison A to B is what we're worried about, not necessarily pick the horsepower, peak horsepower. So we gained 32 horsepower and we gained 38 foot pounds of torque from a Rotofab cold air intake, a flex fuel tune. All right, so once again, thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching the video. We hope that you found it helpful. As you can see, this is a very popular package because for minimal dollar, you get some pretty nice substantial gains for the money. So that's all I got for you guys today. We are we have our own groups. We are in a bunch of groups. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or if there's anything that you want to see, definitely hit us up. In the meantime, we got to get this guy out on the street, make sure it drives nice, shifts good and everything, and then go from there. Thank you guys. Have a good one.